You know what's sad? What puts it all in perspective uh, for me? I just wrote a little piece on this, so I have to bring it up, which you've probably seen and maybe you've talked about on your show um, about uh, the fact that George McGovern is pretty near death. Yeah, I I haven't mentioned it, actually, um, but uh, it is the case that he's not... um He's basically not communicable. I guess is that or he's not communicating anymore. So he's, he's yeah. more or less in, in some type of coma, and I think it's, yep. uh, we're near the end. And it's sad, and it, but it also is sort of when things like that happen, beyond, beyond just it's, it's a shame because he's a good, good, honorable guy, always was. It, it makes you look back at sort of a different time in politics when we were, when people would stood up, stand up forcefully who were very much in the mainstream against the idea of the military industrial complex and uh-huh. war and, you know, in and of itself. I mean, what he used to say, what McGovern basically used to say was, um, you know, I got my ideas on war and the defense industry from Eisenhower, who reminded us about the, the influence of the military industrial complex. And McGovern himself, of course, was a war hero, which most people didn't know because I don't think anybody had been used to yet the kind of virulent populism that we now see on a daily basis. It kind of it existed in the South, certainly on the race on issues of race, but in, not in national politics. I don't think to the level, or I just don't think he was ready for what Nixon was going to throw at him in a modern media, you know, campaign. And and so he he was sort of still sort of this old school, like you sell yourself on your on your political ideas, not on your biography, not on your puffery. And here was this guy that was a war hero. I think he was a fighter pilot, much like John Glenn, who in 1984 ran for you know president on his competence in the Senate, not in the fact that he had gone to the you know <laughs> that he was an astronaut and, and a war hero. And it's just it sort of reminds you of a time you know where where uh, campaigns were were simpler and actually more about substance. It reminds you of a time when uh, not the time the Tea Party guys think existed back then. But what actually existed, when you could talk about ideas like war in and of itself being the last resort and wrong in most cases, and you could talk about uh, inequality in ways, in not just in quiet rooms. Um, and I'm not saying some of that isn't making a comeback now, because I think we've gotten so low, it's sort of where, you know, where do you go from there. But in any case, it struck me. You Didn't know, mean to hijack your show. Uh, no, no. I, I, the, there, there was a great documentary about... Um, uh, about uh, George McGovern, uh, McGovern called "One Bright Shining Moment," I think it was, and um, it's uh, it, it's definitely worth a, a, a watch. I think if it's on Netflix, that would be actually. I may have. Um, I hope that I didn't steal the thunder of uh, Isabel Gillies today, but that um, <laughs> that's a great uh, film to watch. 